Yo, what is up everyone? Taji here. So today we are going to be talking about the upcoming banner, the student and the white tunic. It is going to be a step up banner, which pretty sure is going to be five step. So about, I suppose it would be 1200 crystals, right? For a full step. It should at least be a guaranteed SR. So that's always a good thing. If you guys are interested in potentially getting some free crystals, the Sino Alice Royale creator program is going to be doing a little giveaway. So I'm going to be pinning this comments down below. If you guys are interested, just go ahead and fill out the form. You're going to need things like your Sino Alice ID, your username and whatnot. Just go ahead and do that. And you have a chance of winning some crystal. I don't know how many, but any crystal is nice. We're going to go ahead and talk about the jobs. Uh, in terms of stats, it's pretty much the same as every other alternative. It has been a while, but it is 160 for each stat and the Arcana is going to be 200 HP, so you pretty much just get this if this is your type of thing. For stats, I really wouldn't like pull for the, the stats themselves, um, at least as a DPS, I pretty much only care about one stat, and that is Magic Attack, and for Physical, it would be Physical Attack. Defense is okay, but it's not really something I care too much about. Uh, and HP as well, I suppose it's like just an added bonus I, I usually will pick up. I never pick up Arcanas for just HP though. Unless I have like a shit ton of medals. Pinocchios is going to be the same thing. It's 160 and then whatnot and whatnot. So, mm, you wouldn't really be pulling on this banner for the jobs. You would be pulling on it for the weapons. And obviously the fact that it's a step up. So, the first weapon is going to be a DC2 hammer. So, if you guys want... If you are a physical DPS, although I will say the physical attack is not too great, it is DC2, and it is probably going to be a lot easier to get, since there is probably going to be a guarantee, 1200 crystal for 1 SR, this might not be that bad of a time to pull if you are a physical DPS. Now, that being said, if you don't have too many crystals, say under 2000, and you can only do one pull, maybe it would be beneficial for you to just wait and see what is going to come on the next physical banner. I don't know what's going to be on the next physical banner, but we will be getting the information about that before this banner ends. So you're not really losing anything other than about a week and a half of not having anything to pull on. You're just safe. So that is personally my choice. If I was a physical DPS, I would just wait. However, we will be getting some more crystals in the next couple days. Um, I think we're getting some for the guild thingy. I don't remember too much about it, but that should be at least a little bit helpful. And then there's SB Kahlo, which should come out sometime soon TM. The next weapon we're going to be looking at is Intent of Justice. It is going to be a book with SB2. I believe this one is a physical attack 1.5 target with SB2. Uh, stat spread is primarily focused around attack related sorks. So if you are an attack sork, or just a sork in general. Honestly, this will be a pretty good book to get regardless. And again, it's the same thing with the axe. You're pretty much, I don't think there's gonna be that many good options this uh, the spec banner coming for you. But I suppose if you want to wait for the spec, that could be doable. This is just a really good upgrade, for, especially for the free to play and low spenders. I'm not sure about whales, but I think this is a really good book. You could always wait for the upcoming collab banner, which God knows when we're going to get details of that. But I think they did say it was coming out this month. So you could wait for that or spec details. Uh, the next weapon is going to be an instrument, which is a magic defense to 1.5 target with armor repair. Eh, personally, no, not really something I'm not into. Um, magic defense, I guess, is like, OK, if you are a defense minstrel, I mean, even then, like, uh, I, I mean, it is a step up. So I, I, I mean, it's still a solid like seven and a half out of 10 worthy pool. It's just like, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's OK. I personally wouldn't, but I, I can see why someone would. This should be a normal bow, but it has a plus five combo. So it is going to be similar to hollow ahead for bows. Uh, stat spread is pretty even. Uh, just slightly more M attack, so that's okay. So if you happen to be a physical DPS that happens to run bows in your grid still, um, your half nightmare, this could still be usable. Or if you run split grid magic DPS, uh, this is definitely still an advisable option. And then also there are split mares, although they are pretty rare. Um, I don't know that many people that do it, including myself. 
if you are a split mirror this is definitely one of the bows that you want to keep in your grid right along with the disadvantage bow that just came out as well uh, both of those are definitely one of the two main bows that you want to bring in a split mirror grid but just for the combo aspect itself i don't think i'm gonna pull for it itself maybe if i wailed or i spent like a lot i would probably do so i will probably end up meddling it depending on what else comes out in the rest of the month um i might end up going for copies of spears instead but it's gonna depend on what other spears come out this month last month was pretty dry so this could be the month where it's something actually worthwhile and that's going to be it for this banner. So with that, I am out. Have a nice day.